What's up guys? It's your girl M and I'm back with another cooking video for you today. Abel is feeling much better. I just wanted to start off by saying that Abel is feeling much better. Um, he did get a little bit sick again yesterday, but I think we also, we, I think we are, we're getting out of it. I think we're getting out of it. So that is such a huge blessing. I'm so happy. My poor little baby. Um, and I'm feeling much more mentally stable today. So we're gonna do a quick cooking video. It's very simple, it's very easy. There's nothing to it. It's just turkey burgers. But I, here's the catch. I bake my turkey burgers. I'm coming out, I'm going public with it. I bake my turkey burgers. It keeps them moist, it keeps them uh, tender. It's just, it's so good and I'm telling you once I started baking turkey burgers I'll never go back to like frying them in a skillet again. Never ever ever. I have my oven preheated at 400 degrees. I already have my french fries in there cooking because french fries take longer than the turkey burgers so that's already what's going on. Let me go ahead and show you the ingredients. It's literally I mean nothing to it. We've got our ground turkey and then we have parsley, we have slap your mama, we have garlic powder, we have onion powder, we have Worcestershire sauce, and then we also have this like, just like random seasoning. It's like a kind of like an all purpose seasoning. Um, it's got kind of like a sweet taste to it. And then of course we'll be using salt and pepper. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Okay, right, we've got a pound of ground turkey. Easy enough. We're gonna start off with salt. Start off with salt. Add some pepper. You could use Tony's instead of Slap Your Mama. Um, just use whatever kind of like Cajun Creole seasoning you have. Um, I don't have any Tony's on hand. I just have Slap Your Mama at the moment, so that's what we're using. But I highly recommend using a Slap Your Mama or a Tony's, whatever. Some kind of good seasoning with a little bit of kick. Um, we got onion powder. Although this is the mild, it's not, it doesn't really have much going on, but. Okay, garlic powder. So we did onion powder, garlic powder, of course. You always want garlic powder and burgers. I'm out of seasoning salt, so we're just gonna have to go without. Slap your mama, okay. And add some parsley. This like all purpose seasoning. I randomly got it with like an order, so I use it ever so often. I don't use it a lot, but. And then Worcestershire sauce. Oh, I almost forgot. I do this too. I add a little squirt of Dijon mustard as well. So now I'm just gonna take a spoon. And we're just gonna mix it up. We don't wanna over mix it, but we wanna make sure it's nice and mixed and that the seasoning is infused because we don't want one burger that is super flavorful and then another burger that has no type of flavor at all. Hi, Polar Bear. He's scrounging, guys. Y'all know that means he's feeling better. He's looking for food. Okay. Nice and mixed, as you can see. And then, hands are clean, rings have been taken off, and I'm going to kind of like flatten the turkey burgers into the bottom of this bowl. Now you can make more burgers, they'll just be smaller, but I make big burgers. So I'm just gonna divide it in half. Okay. 
in the bowl. See? And then we'll divide that half to another half. We have a burger. Roll it a little bit. Just form it into a burger. There you go. Pop it on a baking dish. You can use whatever kind of baking dish you want. I'm just using this glass one. Could use like a regular sheet pan, whatever. Whatever you want. Roll it up a little bit. Make it into a patty. Nice and juicy. And this way, the other reason I like doing it this way is you know that it's cooked. Cause I have a hard time when I'm when I'm like searing meat, especially on an electric stove. I have a hard time knowing for sure if the meat is done. And this way I know. And I can make big burgers and not be worried that I've you know have given me and Vaughn food poisoning. Because that is a big fear. And Vaughn cannot, like, he has to have his meat well, well done. And I'm not like that. If I have a steak, baby, that better be medium rare. It's the best way to eat a steak. Look at that. Seasoning in there. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, let me wash my hands. Now, I'm gonna move my fries over. They're cooking nicely. And I'm gonna put my burgers in here. And we're just gonna let them bake for about anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes. You just gotta, every oven cooks differently, just kinda watch them and once you see that they're looking done, or if you have a meat thermometer, um, you can check it that way. But I just kind of look and then I maybe like cut one open a little bit and see. And then you're done. You're literally done. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna put cheese on them. Uh, right around the time that they're done, I'll put cheese on and then they'll melt. The cheese will melt and it'll just be really good, really delicious. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I know there's grease on here, but this is what they look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese and put them back in the oven so the cheese can melt. All right, so I just put the cheese on my burgers. We got my fries here, looking yummy. I'm gonna toast my bun. Honestly, I'm not gonna be able to eat the second burger. I'm gonna just eat one, but we'll save it for later. I'm just gonna add some butter to the skillet. Let it melt. Also gonna take a tomato and cut up a couple slices for when my burger is done here but I love baking my turkey burgers I know it sounds like a little bit crazy but it tastes good to me so I'm gonna go ahead and salt this salt and pepper my tomato y'all should be doing this y'all should all be putting salt and pepper on your tomatoes take that the rest throw it over your left shoulder for good luck So now my tomato is ready to go. And we're going to toast this bad boy. My burgers, let's see. 
Oh yeah, there the cheese is definitely melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out. Get that butter moved all around. Add my buns. Are they gonna fit? We're gonna make them fit. Look at that. I know there's grease, I know. But you gotta have grease to cook it, so. It is what it is, but these are about to be the best turkey burgers ever. I'm gonna show you how I assemble my burgers in just a little bit. All right, so got my fries. And got my toasted buns, yummy. And I'm gonna take my burger. Look at that burger, oh yeah. I'm gonna add some spinach. You could use like romaine lettuce, but I like using spinach. My tomato. And then ketchup. And mustard. And that's it. Look at that. Tasty. All right, moment of truth. Try my burger. Put it right here. Let's try it out. Oh, I accidentally put, you know what? Look how juicy this is. Try to get it to focus. Look at that. Delicious. So good. I'm telling you, once you start baking your turkey burgers, you're not gonna go back to frying them. And Pam. You're just not. It's so good. If you like this video video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think. More cooking videos coming. Um, be sure to check out my Twitter at MMAN and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for all your thoughts and prayers for my sweet Abel. I think we're turning a corner. I think he's feeling better. Let's just keep the positive energy and the prayers flowing towards my baby. Um, and that's it. Love you and I'll see you guys tomorrow.